I support this budget because it's time to fight back against student loan debt in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. This budget does that. Student loan debt is the growing crisis of our time. Yes, we're dealing with the pension crisis today, but the crisis of my generation and the generations to come will be the personal debt that our students are saddled with to go to school. Student loan debt is over $1 trillion in this country. It is the most collectible type of debt. As you know, Mr. Speaker, it's not dischargeable. It's like a chain around a student that follows them through the life of their loan or the end of their life, whichever comes first. Seven out of 10 graduates from higher education institutions in America graduated with student loan debt last year. It doesn't only affect my generation. Ages 50 to 59 went from $34 billion in 2005 to $112 billion in 2015. We used to think of student loan debt as temporary, but a, for a growing number of families, it's multi-generational and it's gonna last many people their entire lives. African-American students who earn a bachelor's degree today are more likely to graduate with student loan debt and have an average higher student loan debt than the balances of all other students who take on debt to finance their education. The average undergrad debt in Kentucky is $25,000 and that is rising every day. But the percentage, ladies and gentlemen, of students in Kentucky who graduate with student loan debt is 64%. That ranks us 18th among all states. When I went to the University of Kentucky as a freshman in 2001, my keys money paid my tuition. By the time I graduated, that was not the case. And as many of you know, the tuition cost today, keys money can barely put a dent in. Since the recession, Kentucky has cut money from higher education and our universities have responded by raising tuition forcing students to take out ever-growing loans. We cannot afford to keep pricing our students out of college. The governor's budget will guarantee higher education is less affordable and tuition will increase across this commonwealth. We have got to fight to invest money in our schools so that Kentuckians can go to school debt-free. We've heard over and over how we can't balance the budget on the backs of the future generations. We've heard the calls denouncing debt. We've heard it here today. Yet we are presented with a budget from the governor that ensures Kentucky's future, our students will be saddled with debt. If we are conservative, as many members of this body can proclaim to be, if we are fiscally responsible, as we also claim to be and should be, then why do we continue to institute policies in this state that incentivize our students to go into debt and force our students to take on crippling student loan debt? Higher education is no longer the luxury it once was in past generations. Employers today look for a degree after high school as a minimum requirement, even for, even for low paying jobs. We should ensure that all of Kentucky's children have the opportunity to go to school after high school, especially Kentucky's low income students whose opportunities are dwindling every day. President Lyndon Johnson said poverty must not be a bar to learning and learning must offer an escape from poverty. As you all know, the Kentucky Lottery Funds are dedicated to Kentucky students, 45% for merit-based scholarships, 55% for need-based scholarships for the students who need it the most. Last year, our lottery revenue was $900 million. $900 million. Every year, Every budget, we take money out of the need-based scholarships, taking money from the students who need it the most. This governor wants to cut our universities 
So their tuition is increased. And then he wants to take the scholarship money from the students who need it the most. But what was most concerning to me is that our governor tweeted, we are fulfilling the Powerball promise. The governor drew applause in this very chamber when he announced his promise and commitment to all of the lottery proceeds would go to their designated educational de destination. But rather than putting the lottery money into the two need-based grants as the law requires, the governor instead proposed spending $60 million of that need-based money. The lottery motto is fueling imagination and funding education. Well, that lottery money certainly fueled our governor's imagination on how he'd create his own pot of money to spend need-based scholarship money. And I can tell you this, it's been a battle. It's been a battle, but gentlemen from Trimble and House leadership have decided to substantially fulfill the Powerball promise so that that money goes to our need-based scholarships as it is intended in law.